schedule has dropped. The question on the table for just just talking point today's video. How will the Chicago Bulls fare versus national TV games? We only won one, I believe, national TV game last season, and we struggled in many of them. It just looked like the Bulls were not a good team in many of them. Again, to remind you of what those national TV games are, we got it versus Philly starting it off on NBA TV. That's 1029. I think, again, that is a very tough matchup for the Chicago Bulls. I think that's probably the toughest matchup that the Bulls are going to have. Again, I know I've slandered Philly a lot, but I think Philly just does a lot of things well that we don't do well. Sometimes that's how it goes. I don't think Philly's a better team as a whole than the Bulls are, but when I look at Philadelphia, they do a lot of things better than we do. So while I can see the Bulls winning more games than Philly, I also can see Philly beating us. Sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. So I think that's a tough one there. I'll say the Bulls probably split with Philly this year uh, on the national TV games. I think they probably take an L in the first one. Then you got Charlotte. I think that's a dub. Boston, I think, is going to be uh, – do we got two versus Boston? Yeah, Boston, I think, is going to be a split for the Bulls. Um, so I would say we'll take the first one here on 11, four. So two and one there, uh, golden state. Ooh, I'm gonna give that an L. I'm going to give that an L. I'm going to pay respect to the champs. New York is a dub easily. I think the Bulls can get this one versus Philly. So where am I at now? I'm at uh, one and one, two and one, two and two, three and two, four and two on national TV. I said we'll split there. So four and three right now. I think we beat Detroit. Detroit versus who? Not worried about it. Uh, let's go five and three there. Did I do that right? Yeah, yeah, five and three there. Atlanta, I think we beat because... I, I still have Io DeSumo dominating Trey Young there. So let's go six and three there. Uh, Charlotte, again, I'm not confident in Charlotte at any point. I just don't think they're going to be a, very, a much better team, especially losing a major piece like Miles Bridges. Miles, we can't, Miles Bridges. Um, so I'm going to say seven and three there. We got Brooklyn. I don't know what this Brooklyn team is going to be. Um, if they're uh, – I'll put a caveat on this. If Kevin Durant and Kyrie are there and TJ Warren and Ben Simmons, I think that team's going to be better than a lot of people think. So I'll say an L there. But I don't know if that's going to be that team. So I'm going to say seven and four on that one. I think we could split with them. Um Milwaukee to me, I think the Bulls are going to come out with such an aggression, especially being back on TNT in that first Milwaukee game that I could see the Bulls getting that one. Um, so I'm going to go eight and four. I I said we split with Brooklyn. So I'll say, again, I don't know what the team is, but, but I'll say we split with them. So let's go nine and four. And I think Milwaukee will take that last one. So let's go nine and five. I've got the Bulls nine and five right now on national TV games. And here's the thing to remember when you're looking at kind of where the, this Bulls team is and how this Bulls team is going to be able to attack those national TV games better than last season. Last season, this Bulls team didn't have their full health in a lot of those national TV games. We never had Patrick Williams in any of the early ones. I don't think, um, uh, I think Zach Levine missed a, a bit of time. Actually, Zach Levine played in a couple of them, but he ended up having to miss, what, the Miami game and I think the Milwaukee game after that, which I believe were both national TV games because he hurt the knee in game at the beginning of that Miami game. Um, so I, I think that that's going to be a – that health plays a major part coming into these games. If the Bulls are a healthy team, I think that's how the schedule plays out. If the Bulls are missing any of their major pieces, it absolutely could be one of those things like we saw last season where they just can't get the job done. Again, Lonzo Ball means so much to this team. So right now, I would say I have the Bulls going 9-5 and five in that national TV matchup. But the question again, how... Uh, how healthy is this Bulls team going to be? How much is this Bulls team going to change their scheme with adding Andre Drummond in, with adding Marco Simnovich in? Well, I've said his name like 17 different times in this live. With adding a lot of different players in there, right, like that that – we didn't expect to do much for it. Well, they weren't here last season and players that we didn't expect uh, 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 or that we expected to do a lot for us last season that just weren't there for us. So I think that that's something that you really have to clue in on. Um, 
I'm hoping that that's not a stretch on my part, and I'm not seeing red too much there. But I feel like if your team goes nine and five, right, like you feel good about that team as a not only as a nationally a national team, but also as a team that can hang with the big dogs in a lot of these games. And I think that's the biggest thing that you want to see. How's this Bulls team going to be able to hang with the big dogs? Um, I'll say this as well. I think the experience in the playoffs from last season also adds to this Bulls team being able to win a lot more of these national TV games. You got to think when they really got over the national TV hump was in the playoffs when they got that game two in Milwaukee, a very improbable game for them to go out there and get. I think that that changes the mentality that changes how hard this Bulls team fights. That changes what this Bulls team does in these national TV games. I think this Bulls team comes in with a completely different mentality this season when we're talking about going when you look at last season right being number one being the hunted getting hunted down and then having to be the hunter and essentially continuing to slide because of injury and things like that I think that that mixed with the fact that they got a little bit of playoff experience you're going to see this Bulls team come out with a little bit more aggression here coming into this season and so I'm excited for it man I think this is going to be a fun season I will be you know we'll be here live calling every single game Unless I go to the game, but for the most part, I don't go to games because I love live calling them with y'all. So make sure that y'all stay in tune with us on that. Um, Like I said, we're going to be breaking down the schedule game by game, month by month. And we'll be dropping that over uh, on the breeze and on the Chicago Bulls breeze as well. So stay tuned in with us for that. Um, We appreciate you guys for showing love. As always, man, it's your boy, Pat, the designer, back at it again to continue watching our Chicago Bulls content. Click the links on the screen or check the links in the description below. We will have the month of October out tomorrow, breaking down the schedule giving a win-loss prediction, and hopefully, hopefully figuring out how this Bulls team is going to do coming into this season. Y'all stay safe out there, Chicago. Peace.